Okay, let's do a quick video on recording a macro. Um, to go in a QList to a specific queue and then trigger this macro and everything is done in Titan version 10. You see I started a simulator here, that's why you see it is offline. I don't use MIDI here, but I do SACN triggers, which were available in uh, version 10 as well. Um, let's look for the version. You see here it is version 10.0, because this is what you asked for in the first place. And as always, I start from scratch. So we go to disk and start a new show. Okay, here we go. And to keep it very simple, everything I do is I create a queue list here and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, some steps in there. Okay, exit. This is my queue list where I want to go to a specific um, to a specific queue and in order to trigger it I need a demo channel patched. Patch demos. Um, I patch one here and I patch another one. Maybe we want to have two macros. We do two demo channels. Exit. Um, now we do um, two queues. Um, this one at 100% and record it. Um, record it here. Clear. And the second one, uh, well, it's really unusual for me to do everything with a mouse, but it works as well. Usually I like the uh, keyboard for this. And then I add 100% and record and put it there and clear. Next thing, we go to the system menu, disk, so everyone disk, and let's see that SACN is assigned at least. Go to DMX settings, SACN universe one is assigned from a previous thing. So my demos, are, um, demo channels are sent out on SACN, this is what I need. Um, next thing is we do our macro. You are right that it is not possible to trigger macros here and I must say I did not know this. But first we create them here and we try our luck. And then as always I show what does not work and after this I show how to circumvent this. So um, we need a macro to go to a specific queue like um, we, um, first we try it in dry. In order to go there, we have to connect. Uh, let's assume we are not connected. That's why it's always a good idea to connect to the queue list first and then go to a specific queue. And so we are not connected now. I just double clicked on connect. So what we wanted to do is we want to connect to the queue list. And then we want to go to a specific queue, connect and or a new um, desks. This is called connect and queue. So we want to go connect five, enter. Now we have queue number five preloaded. And this is what we want to do. The other way would be if we want to go a specific queue. Again, we start with connect to the queue list and now connect or queue and let's assume queue 8 and go. Now we have not only selected queue 8 but we have also started it. Um, these are the two macros you want to program there. So macro record and first one is our um, preload queue. Uh, uh, preload macro, let's say it should go there. So now the macro is being recorded and we do connect to the queue list and then connect five, enter. And now we hit macro. This is our 
connect macro, which goes to queue number five to preload it. And the next macro is macro record. We go put it on um, button number three. And this one is connect to the queue list and queue five, eight and go. Now you see Q8 is preloaded and started as well. And end of macro recording. Now we can have a look. This is our um, call queue number five. Yeah, you see it here. Queue number five is called and let's uh, release it all together to better see it. Release this queue list, or we take the queue list and go to another queue, like so. Now we are on queue number six. Um, and now I have my, just to test, my macro to go queue eight, and it goes queue eight. So my macros do work. Okay, next step, we want to trigger the macros. Um, Evo and disk in order to go to the system menu. Next, triggers. Um, first, we add a new trigger mapping. Enter a name. One, two, three with the keyboard. OK. And add a trigger. Add trigger. And now we run into the problem. If I want to add a trigger for this button, it immediately exits the menu. This is definitely uh, definitely um, a, a fault in in this software version. Yeah, we can try again. We want to try and add a trigger, and maybe we want to trigger this one. So trigger type hardware does not work. Now we want to try the other way. Trigger tag item and put it here, and it doesn't even register it, so it doesn't work at all. Okay, so this does not work, but what does work is if we first move the uh, the macros into another window. You can put it in the fixture window, in the groups window. Just put it in the fixture window because it's just there. So move this macro here and move the other macro, this one here. Okay. Um, we can try. So this is just in order to see if it still works. This is, is our select queue number five. And if we click there, it selects queue number five. So, okay. And now try again. I will disk in order to go to the system menu, go to triggers. We already have our trigger mapping. Now we add a new trigger and we go to trigger type hardware. We want to trigger this button and now it works because it triggers, it hardware triggers button fi in the fixtures window, touch number nine. This is what I have here. And now I just need to set the um, actuator, so to say. So, okay. Now we trigger type, I use trigger type SACN. You can use trigger type MIDI if you want. So I want to trigger it with this one. Let's have a look, it does work. So this is our SACN channel number one. We want to add this, this is our first trigger. And now we go to the other one, a new trigger, trigger type auto. We can try if it works, trigger type item, but this still doesn't work. So you can't trigger macros by item, regardless which version and regardless which button or so. So you have to use trigger type hardware in order to trigger macros. So we trigger fixtures button touch 11, which is this here, and trigger it with, um, okay, first we have to press okay, and trigger it with SACN channel number two. And here we go. This was the um, 
um, the um, spoiler again. That's why it was flickering like this. And at this, okay, now we have our two triggers. You can, again, you can define the triggers by SACN, by MIDI, or by whatever. And now we can have a look. Oops, that is my beautiful desktop, forget it. And now we can have a look and I can fire this one, which selects number five, this one, which selects number eight. But first we go in our queue list to another queue in order to check that it works. Now we want to select number five and number five is selected. So this dimmer went to full and then triggered this macro. And now we want to select and go queue number eight. And here we go. So it works. It just doesn't work on these buttons, but you can create the macros on some windows. You can um, trigger it but by hardware, but this is not a problem at all. And that's it. So it works and have fun.